All right, Joe, uh, let's take a look at the backdraft cars. We've got eight cars in our database. Um, I don't really like this car, but I did 61 grand. Um, looks like a, a fresh car, 2019. Then we've got uh, another car, Mecham, with 390 miles. Uh, dyno tested to 551. Roush performance looks like a very similar car, 61,000, including the fees. Uh, this car was supercharged. I wouldn't count that. Here's a car that did 45 grand. That's on the lower side, but that was bring a trailer. And we're back to the 60,000 range retail. Remember retail and another 67, 70 at Harrisburg. And then 82 um, just finished as well in, a, in quite a bit of custom. So let's look at the outlier here, the cheap one. Uh, this is the bring a trailer car. Don't like this build at all. Not very attractive. I can see why it did so much less, even though it had a decent setup with uh, it being a backdraft. It's not a 427 it's uh it's a windsor but i don't think it's the big horsepower version so let's just take a look i'm using my admin by the way so i had to copy this instead of uh just clicking through like the system would normally go so it takes me a little longer than if you just clicked on it so let's see what we have here uh, carlsbad california yeah, i do not like the look of this interior whatsoever uh, that's a problematic induction system. I had one in a GT40. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, probably a similar horsepower. So it's a decent horsepower. It looks like a nice build. It just, just don't like the way the car looks. Uh, I, I do think it held it back. And I would venture to guess that if we uh, got into the comments, you probably could read about that. Um, in last comment, outstanding car. What am I missing? Um... Uh, bill price not relevant. Surprise, a sticker didn't come up. Uh, uh, something. I wonder if fuel injection force factored in the price. Yeah. See, it, the fuel injection is not a good fit for that car. I think that's generally the, the way the car, the build looks, and the fuel injection is a big problem with this particular car. So I, I think the number for me to be safe on the car that you guys are looking at here, uh, this is a great presentation I like the wheels uh, I like the color it's a fresh build I don't I'm not a fan of the two hoops but that's that's not that big a deal um, from a safety standpoint some people like it the dash looks a lot better I like the black uh, it's got the proper shifter in it no miles to speak of so you know it's got carbureted which I like as well so I think overall uh, if you put low to mid 40s in this car um, it, it should give someone room to pay uh, 50 and ask 60 retail uh, that's the general pretense that I would uh, recommend for you to move forward uh, they're probably gonna want 50 plus uh, I think there's a strong argument to suggest that you know 60s of money you imagine like these people they got 60 that means the car hammered at 55 and change. That means the seller got 50. That's probably where you're going to end up. The guy um, that would be trading that would probably feel like he's got a 60 grand car. He's got to back him up 20% for the buy and sell fee. Um, and on bringing trailer, a, you know, a little less. But if the guy wants to go through that drama, knock yourself out. I think, uh, you know, 44, 45 maybe for you to pay and then offer for 49 and change uh, to someone that they could make five or ten grand.